Hello everyone, here's Vita. Good afternoon. Today I'm starting a little bit late since I had to do some things that needed to be done. And uh, I would like to clean up this bed. I usually use just a few meters of this bed for veggies. But since I have to find a place for my tomatoes this year, I would like to extend it. And I'd like to move the uh, paniculator here, the hydrangea paniculator limelight, to another area in the garden. And then I'll clean up the bed. So it will be ready for my veggies. If you'd like, please join me and enjoy the video. Oh, there are some fox gloves also that I have to move. Okay. <clears throat> and I have to take care not to break the watering system. Okay. Okay. I have very good soil here, so it's easy to dig it out. So I found a place for the hydrangea paniculata limelight. I'll be transferring it here. And I think it's okay here. It's not too much sun, but it's uh, open and there will be enough circulation. And I'll probably trans <laughs> transform this bed into a half shade bed, flowering bed with hostas and uh, some shade loving plants over here because this will be covered with clematis and the climbing rose so I'll put the hydrangea here I'm done planting. I just have to water it, really flood it, just to make sure that there are no air pockets in there. Now that it's positioned, I can actually turn it. This is a paniculata limelight, so the blooms come out from the new wood so you can actually prune it as low as you'd like them to be. So guys, after planting the limelight yesterday, I decided to extend this bed because the grass over here is not really growing very well. It's uh, getting too much 
shade from the oriental pine from the south and um, since uh, I have to transplant some of the hellebore I have in the winter container I decided to just clean this up put some more potting soil here better soil some compost and then uh, plant the hellebore over here and I also have some hostas to split so I think this is will be just a good place for them so I just have to take out the grass first so this would look good I think it will be like a shade garden so I have to clean up the soil now take all the grass away and then uh, mix it with some compost and some potting soil and then I can transplant my hellebore from my winter container. So guys, I would actually like to finish my shade garden that I started a few days ago. It was raining the last three days, so I couldn't do anything in the garden. But today it's all sunshine, some scattered clouds, but there is this east wind again that it's really chilly. I am sitting on the terrace right now having a coffee after a nice walk along the Rhine, and I'm really glad I had my boots on and thick jacket on because it was just so windy and uh, but it's always nice to be out when the sun is shining so no complaints <laughs> anyway i'll be taking apart my containers here and there are a few plants here that uh, i'd like to plant in my shade garden so i'll be doing that after my coffee break and um, if I can manage, I will be planting them today, but if it's really too cold there because it's the east side, then I'll just put them in a bucket and finish it tomorrow. one is the layer up that I just took off from one of my containers on the terrace and um, it is a bulb it's perennial and it has very beautiful purple flowers in uh, early summer late spring and um, I would like to soak it in water this one is uh, very pricey so I'd like to take it apart and just use it as a border around a shade garden. It will eventually grow to this size anyway. I'm patient and uh, I'll just wait. I'm almost done doing the shade garden here. I transferred most of the plants that I have in containers on the terrace, like the hellebore and the white skimia and the tea berries. And I divided the uh, leery up and used it as border over here i also transferred a uh, shrubby veronica that i had in one of the containers 
last spring and this will also have some purple blossoms very soon so I have this Carolina allspice hybrid here that doesn't have any foliage yet but it's uh, starting to show some buds I think very very small ones and I have a lot of bloody Williams that I uh, sawed last springtime and transferred here so they will have blossoms in uh, late spring early summer and they have this very tall stalks about 80 centimeters long and that's where the blossoms will be coming out the stalks are sturdy enough to stand up and support itself I will not be mulching here I will be uh, planting ground coverings I was thinking of the hazel wart because they have very beautiful foliage heart shape I hope this Liriop will all come up because I, I really had to <laughs> take it apart, really pull it apart and some roots were damaged. But um, I hope they'll survive. I will also be uh, planting some hostas that I have to split still. And then I'm done here. So I hope you liked the video and uh, I hope to see you again in two days. Thank you for watching. Bye now.